Today on the channel from the new Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Retro Wave, we've got the Invisible Woman and the Human Torch. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends unboxing and review. And today we've got the Fantastic Four Retro Wave with Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. But for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. And so far we've unboxed The Thing, we've unboxed Psycho Man, High Evolutionary, now we're getting two of the core members of the Fantastic Four with the Human Torch and the Invisible Woman here. And like I said in the other reviews, absolutely love this packaging. This packaging, it blew me away back in the 90s when it came out. I was all in. It's a way I learned a lot about the Fantastic Four was through the Marvel Action Hour and the animated series in the 90s and the Toy Biz toy line. It made me learn about the Inhumans and other characters that I'd never even heard of prior to that. So very cool, a very cool love letter to the 90s with these. And I believe you can go on Disney Plus and watch the animated series if uh, you want to. I believe that's on there. I'd have to double check, but I haven't watched any of them yet, but I might have to, might have to. But we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews in the channel. We're gonna take a look at the packaging. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna box it. We're gonna talk about it. We'll see where it goes from there with some comparisons at the end, as usually. And we always start with the ladies, so we're going to go ladies first. Old Sue Storm, she's up to the plate. Let's take a look at the packaging on her. Fantastic Four carding, just beautiful. Love it. That big four at the top, you knew exactly what you're getting yourself into. Uh, you got the cool cartoon glamour shot down here. You got her name, all that. She does come with her uh, psychic shield, extra hands as well. So we've seen some of that in the past. Uh, and you got that cool picture of the Fantastic Four with the Fantastic car there. I've always loved that picture. On the back, you got the cross cell, just like the 90s. They put it all across the bottom. I think that is really cool. You got the warnings, all that UPC stuff down by my hand. You got a blurb, and then you got the cool uh, artwork there, the Fantastic Four logo at the very top. So let's see what it says about the Invisible Woman. After receiving superpowers, Sue Storm Richards co-founds the Fantastic Four and emerges as the single most powerful member of the group. Is she the most powerful? I guess, kind of. Uh, how do you look? I guess, I don't know how you look at it. Is she the single most powerful? She can turn invisible, of course. But what about Mr. Uh, Fantastic and his stretchiness? What about Human Torch and his fire? What about the thing and his power? I don't know. I guess it could be debated at the end of the day. But let's get down to it. Let's unbox her. And these are very uh, rough cards. Or rough? I don't know if rough is the right word. Whoa, I'm losing stuff. Very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, heavy duty stock. Jeez, there we go. Heavy duty stock. Not like your He-Man Masters Universe Origins that are very paper thin. This is very heavy. I like that. See you later. Great collection to have mint on card for sure. But there's Sue Storm looking only like Sue Storm could look if she was in the plastic prison at my table right now. Two extra hands. Got the invisible shield there as well. And there it is. Let's pull these hands out. There it goes. Love tape. Just love that tape. There goes the shield. And there it is. See you later. All right. Oh, and I just noticed here. So we got some issues. I got some uh, scuffing up on her chest. On her chest, we got some scuffing, unfortunately. I got a little white mark there. That looks like the only one I see. So that is disappointing there. Extra hands. We got two fisted hands and you got two whimsical hands on her. I might mix and match and do some stuff, but always cool to get extra hands. You guys know me. Love to get a fist with my superheroes. Uh, and then you get to her. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. And a lot's been said since the day the glamour shots came out on this one that people didn't like the face. And the face is definitely not uh, the best Sue Storm face we've had. And we'll compare it to some of the other ones. I think the blonde hair color maybe fits the era of this. It's just something about the eyes. I don't know if it's just not a, enough eyebrow or if the eyes are just too far or not far apart. I, I don't know. It's just barely a miss to me. I know some people have been pretty brutal on uh, social media about this one. Uh, by no means is this the best one at all, but it does, as usual, things always look a lot better in hand than they do in pictures. I found that... All toy lines seem to be that way. I think that is the case with this one, but it's still not the best. It's probably her worst uh, head sculpt we've seen. But the blonde, whimsical hair is not bad. And if you could find, uh, you know, there's people that touch these things up that have that artistic quality. I think you could put a little extra paint into this and you could probably save this one and make it look pretty good. Uh, that's my guess, at least. 
Uh, so that is, it is what it is. I don't know. And then it is the Fantastic Four costume. This is probably when I think Fantastic Four, I close my eyes. This is probably the costume I think of. I don't know if you guys are in the same boat as me or not, uh, but I think this is what I think of. And I got the big four in the chest right there. Unfortunately, like I said, there is that scuff going on, so that is disappointing. Got the two whimsical hands on her. We can switch those to fist. Single jointed elbows, double jointed knees on this one. Uh, ankles move around, of course. You got the thigh swivel. No bicep swivel or any of that. But it's okay. It's okay. By no means is this my favorite Sue Storm figure. Uh, does she fit on a ringside collectible stand? She does. Spend your money on your figures, not your stand. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code Kyle. Save 10% on your stands. Uh, we've seen this effect before. I think maybe in even different colors there. Uh, but it is kind of cool how it fits like right in her hand. It's specially made for those whimsical hands. It's always kind of difficult to figure out too the first. Jeez, let me look at this. Because it is clear and all, but you got to slide her fingers in there just right. She's got that invisible shield going on right there, like so. But we've had other Sue Storms. I always like this one, too. Uh, the Walgreens exclusive Fantastic Four wave, a very pricey wave after all these years. And that was always a head-scratcher to me, that you would release all the Fantastic Four figures to Walgreens. Uh, I got them, so I was fine with it. But, boy, they're expensive. But they are some of the best Fantastic Four figures ever made. And a lot of people missed out on those. Unfortunately, maybe you don't have a Walgreens in your area or whatever. She does not fit on a ringside collectible stand. Yeah, she does not at all. So this one's okay. I like kind of the dirty blonde hair on this one. And I like how she's halfway invisible on her arm. She's got one invisible arm. That's a cool nod, a cool touch there. We are going to get an invisible woman uh, in the future. Hasbro Pulse as well. We'll review that when that time comes. But I like this one. It's kind of a mix of a little bit of a phasing into invisibility on this one. I think that is really cool. But I think my favorite one has to be the... Uh, Gosh, was this 20, early 2020 maybe this came out, the Fantastic Four wave? Uh, I like this one a lot, especially the head on this one looks fabulous. Just a really cool head sculpt with this uh, Invisible Woman on this one. Uh, so this was probably my favorite. I, I think she's probably my least favorite of the three. But it's okay. It's better than expected. They all have a hole in their back too. I don't know what that hole is for. If there's going to be... I don't know. Each one of them has a hole in their back. So I don't know why and what the reasoning for that is. Uh, but it's the case. She does have that. But there it is. The Invisible Woman, Miss Fantastic. Sue Storm. Looking only like she could look. So there it is. Uh, not as bad as I was expecting, but still not the best. Fair enough. So now we turn our attention to Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. Another guy that's no stranger to the action figure game. And we'll do some comparisons at the end as well. Fantastic Four, same packaging as the other one. You got that artwork on the bottom. You got Human Torch. Looks like we got a couple of effects and a couple of hands. So he's all ready for business. And on the back, you got the same glamour shot artwork up there at the top. Cross sell, warnings, UPCs, got the blurb, all that fun stuff. Let's see what it says about our old pal Johnny Storm. Fiery and hot headed, the Human Torch can burn through just about any adverse adversity with a smile. That's all he needs to say. That's all he needs to say. No more. Got it. Okay, we'll get him out of the package next. Let's see what's doing here. Oh, there it is. Get him out. Losing things left and right. See you later. Human Torch right there. See you later. Goodbye. Plastic prison time. There he is. Looking all red and fired up. Fired up. Now, the last uh, Johnny Storm we got in uh, the Fantastic Four wave that this Sue Storm came with... Uh, it was a regular Johnny Storm, which I'm okay with that. I need a, the human version and the fire separate. I, I like that. And I like uh, how they did one that was kind of mixed together a, a little bit. I thought that was cool as well. So we do have that. So I thought I'd make mention of that. There it is. Can I get this out? There it is. So he's got the hands we got here. See you later. There it is. We've got two fisted hands. So he's got two fisted hands on him if you want some fists of fire going on and then we got two effects for the hands we've seen these effects numerous times uh nice fiery effects though i think they do work they do fit the bill for what they're needed for and then we get down to old johnny storm here so first thing i noticed i believe this is the sunspot body uh we got this sunspot a year two years ago uh, what is time anymore who knows he does have flames molded onto his hands and fist here. So we actually got three fisted hands with this one, which is interesting. But one has the molded flames onto it. And I'm okay with that. I think that's how I'm going to use these. I'm going to use the hands that are on here because they have the effects molded into them. That makes sense to me. So I like that. Uh, and then on the, we'll start at the head, the top of the head. It, it looks like hair, but it's actually fire. So it's kind of funny. You look at it, you kind of think, oh, there's hair. 
But no, it is fire going on. He does have a attachment that goes around his neck as well. So you put that on, just slides really on very easily. And it is a different uh, hue color. And same with the accessories, more of an orange flame where his body is a red flame. Uh, and then you got the human torch head going on. Uh, just very clear, very, it looks, it could very well be the same head from that retro Iceman figure we got many moons ago. I think it was a Walmart exclusive, I think. Uh, it looks a lot like that head, but it could, I could be wrong. But then you got kind of that black, the black lines on the arms, the legs, basically the whole body. That kind of shows, I guess it kind of helps bring out the flame color. It's a kind of an eye trick there. Sometimes you look at it, it really blends in. Sometimes you look at it, those black lines really kind of deter you from the figure. It just kind of catches your eye differently and it feels like it doesn't belong. And it is weird how he doesn't have any of that black lines on the back. It's missing black lines totally on the back. So that's that's a little strange. But it is definitely uh, the Human Torch. You see this character and you say, oh, there's the Human Torch. Makes sense. It, I mean, it looks just like him. So... Uh, I think uh, this one will go okay. I think this is a popular one. I think Human Torch was always one of the most popular Fantastic Four members. I always thought him and Thing were the most popular on the old playground back in the day. How about Human Torch from that original uh, Walgreens wave? It's this one. A little different orange color to him there. So you can notice the differences here. I guess this is probably the same head. I think it is a different head. It is a different head. And then he has this effect on his shoulders too. I guess I forgot that came off and on. So he does have that same effect for the shoulders, just colored differently. Um, I have noticed about this one. I bought this one brand new when it came out at Walgreens. Uh, over time, and I've, it's just been displayed on my shelf. I don't play with these, but the joints have really loosened up over time. I don't know if that's happened to anybody else. I don't know if it's some of that translucent lucent plastic isn't as strong as other plastics. We've seen that in other toy lines throughout the years, Masters of the Universe, Masters of the Universe Classics that the translucent, I can't say it, translucent plastic is uh, not as uh, strong as a traditional plastic. So I don't know if that's what's going on here a little bit, uh, but it's interesting. I don't know. You guys tell me which human torch do you prefer between the two? I guess I always liked this one a lot, but when I put them side by side, I always, I guess my brain says this darker red color when I think of the human torch. Uh, it would have been nice to get that human torch, that other head sculpt, uh, I do have Human Torch here. We got the Marvel Select. We recently unboxed this Marvel Select one on the channel. But if you guys remember, that came with that like original Human Torch head that was like no face, just flame. I wish we could have got that as kind of an Easter egg with this one. Uh, but something tells me maybe that'll be re-released down the line. Maybe we'll get Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends line one of these days. They'll reuse this Human Torch body, give us that extra head, maybe a couple of new effects and say, oh, we got a new figure for you could see that happen but as far as fantastic four figures uh, these aren't bad the invisible woman a little rough i don't know a lot of people aren't going to be able to get past that face on her i can i can live with it i guess we'll say that i wish i was more artistic i could clean it up a little bit but some of the people out there that are i think you could just do a little bit of magic to it and you could turn that one around you could turn her frown upside down as some may say but what do you guys think about these two human torch invisible woman you're picking them up you're picking and choosing you're passing you all in you all out let me know in the comments down below. And while you're here, you've made it this far. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the old notification bell. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. Of course, ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And stay tuned, we'll have one more video where we'll unbox Reed Richards and we'll rank the whole way from my favorite to my least favorite. So stay tuned for that. So for the Fantastic Four, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.